Finally, just for the heck of it, to use a different method, I wanted to show you guys a report message. Okay? And this, we can do many things. This is like the reported.report .report event. We can report done, pass, or fail. I'm going to do done and message. You can either, you know, type in your own. Okay? And then where is this going to show? Run results and output window. Okay? And if you want, we can rename it. Do you guys see? It's kind of very now useful and intuitive in that almost all of these guys have similar tabs. So all the options in each tab may change, but otherwise it's pretty easy to navigate. You know, if you want to change some properties, you know, you come over here and just modify them. So I'm just going to call this report message like that and remove the six. Because remember that QTP just assigns these names. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and run it and see what happens. F5 to run. Check out this output all the way down there. You can see it here. And let's look at our results. It failed. Okay. So let's see why. So the report message, just like a reporter. Oops, and I apologize, guys. I just realized that I ran a different test. You guys see that? API test 2. I ran the wrong test for you. Let's go over here to the Solution Explorer. We want to run this guy. API Tutorial. Okay. Check out the results. Now it passed. That makes sense. I was wondering why did it fail. We can expand everything, write our multiplication with our checkpoint and our addition. You can check it out. 20 plus 10, 30. And our checkpoint was expected value is 30, actual value is 30. It passed. And then we get a report message that QTPTutorial.net rocks. You guys get that just like a report event?